Namaste, this is Monica and I welcome you to today's practice and today we are going to explore a sequence on twisting our body. So you will explore a lot many asanas with twisting variation included in that. As you know that the practices with me are slow paced practices and rooted in Indian traditional yoga and so you can expect a lot of mindfulness a slow movement a lot of time for you to explore your asanas in yoga we also consider that the, the, the twist asanas help you detox because they really squeeze your internal organs and that is what we are going to explore today on the mat so without any delay let's meet on the mat and let's explore this practice together so you can sit in a cross legged position Place your palms over your thighs, gently close your eyes or maybe taking chin mudra by touching the tip of your index finger and your thumb. Align your spine with your neck and your hips, so your hips, spine and neck all are in one line. Giving some nice space in your torso for breath to flow. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing your jaw. With each breath, we are grounding ourselves. So watching your breath in and out through your nostrils, the natural rhythm. Noticing everything about this particular moment right now. Bringing awareness right in this moment. From everywhere, withdrawing your senses. And turning inward, turning towards you watching all the internal sensations and feelings. Let us set an intention to continue this mindfulness, this connection with a breath, body, spirit throughout the session. Join your palms to the heart center. We will be chanting one Om Tri Shantis. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, open your eyes and place your palms again over your knees. Inhale to lift your chin up, extending the front side of your neck and exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale, chin up. Exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale, chin up. Exhale, chin to the chest. Come back to the center. Inhale, let us rotate our neck. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, three times. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's change the direction. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Back to the center. Rolling your shoulders back about two, three times. To the back and to the front. Now 
inhale to raise your arms from here lengthen your spine and exhale twisting to your right place your right hand behind your right hip left palm over your right knee look over your right shoulder exhale back to the center inhale lengthen up lengthening your torso before the twist will keep you away from contraction so keeping it safe by lengthening the torso every time you take the twist exhale come back to the center and extend your arms in onto the side start rotating your shoulder socket and your wrist interlace your fingers from here behind you inhale lift your torso look up towards the ceiling exhale to fold over as much as you can exhale again twisting to your right opening your chest to the right dropping your palms to the left keeping the torso nice and lengthened extend it to the side back to the center inhale and exhale opening your chest to your left exhale to release let us move to tabletop position inhale lift your chin up Pressing your chest down, arc your spine, exhale, chin to the chest, inhale, up, exhale, chin to the chest, inhale, up, exhale, chin to the chest, inhale, up, exhale, chin to the chest, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale inhale exhale come back to the center inhale to raise your right arm up opening your chest to the right you can stay here or taking your right arm through your left armpit the side of your head on the mat maybe placing your left palm behind you opening your left shoulder a bit more sending your right pelvis in back to the center change the side inhale to raise your left arm up exhale full variation or you can just simply stay in your first variation itself pressing that shoulder down feeling the opening in your chest exhale to again come back down onto your foes, tuck your toes, lift your knees up, moving into your downward dog. And if you want, you can walk your heels. Loosen up your hamstrings here. Exhale to bend your knees, look forward, step or jump forward. Inhale, half lift. Hands can be on your shin or on the mat. Exhale, head into fold. Crown of the head pointing down towards the floor. Bend your knees and start to slide your spine up. Nicely, gently. Just losing it, leaving your torso as it is. Let it come up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. And roll your shoulders back, hands on the side, chin parallel to the floor, moving into your Tadasana. Find your rooting through your feet. Find your lengthening through the crown of the head.
and opening your feet to about three feet distance for Uttita Trikonasana. Turning your right foot out. Inhale. Stretch your arms in the T shape. Inhale to stretch. Exhale. Folding over to your right, extending your torso, keeping the lengthening in the torso. Inhale to come back up again, right foot in to left foot out. Inhale to stretch, lengthen your torso, pulling that navel in and exhale, bending over to your left. Right shoulder, right pelvis, both are going back. Inhale, come back up, turn your left foot in, turning both of your feet to your right inhale stretch the left side my favorite twist exhale fold and twist so sending the left pelvis back as you place your left palm either on your shin or on the block or on the side of your right foot maybe raising your right arm up And bend your knee to come all the way up inhale and exhale turning to your left inhale to stretch the right side exhale fold and twist Exhale to place both of your palms on the mat. Take your legs back into your plank, lower down to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Holding here for about two breaths. Again, bend your knees to step forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, head into fold. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, back to your Tarasana. Step your left leg back. Maybe left foot can be a bit diagonal. Inhale, extend your arms in the dish, uh, extend your arms up, join your palms together. Bend your front knee, twisting to your right, left elbow outside your right knee, lifting your back heel up. One. Two, three, four, five. Coming back again to the heart center, turning to your left. Again, join your palms, extend your torso up, and then bend your front knee, lifting your back heel, join your palms to the heart center, and right elbow outside your left knee. One, two, three, four, five. Exhale, place your palms on the mat, step back into your plank, lower down to Chaturanga. Inhale, exhale, downward dog. And from here, bring your right leg for right palm to your holding on to your left shin or your left ankle, opening your chest to your left. Exhale, change the side. Left palm reaching out to your right thigh. Again, taking your left palm back, bend both of your knees, step forward, inhale, half lift, 
exhale head into fold inhale arms up join your palms exhale back to your tarasana open your feet to about four feet distance from here and hands on your hips inhale lift your torso exhale to fold forward place your palms in between your feet fingers and toes in one line inhale to look up exhale to fold over inhale look back up walk your palms a bit forward wide leg downward dog and from here you would be bringing your right palm catching hold of the left shin same as we did in downward dog and opening your chest up towards the ceiling as much as you can hips in one line hips remain in the same position feeling this nice twist change the side exhale to twist and again exhale to place both of your palms back on the mat and walk your palms back hands on your hips to come all the way up interlace your fingers behind you inhale to lift your torso exhale to fold forward few breath here inhale and then your torso exhale again opening your chest to your right Back to the center, opening your chest to your left. Back to the center, place your palms on the mat, hands on your hips, inhale, come up. Step again to the top of your mat and bend both of your knees, sweep your arms up for your chair pose. One, two, three four five join your palms to the heart center twisting to your right left elbow outside your right knee keeping your knees in one line not touching almost together but in one line lengthening the torso to the front keep looking to your right shoulder Back to the center, exhale, twisting to your left. Exhale, back to the center, inhale, raise your arms, straightening your knees, exhale, back to your asana moving into your balancing asana the twist one so you can shift all your weight on your left foot bend your right knee and catching hold of your either thigh opening your chest to the right or if it's possible for you catching hold of the outside of your right foot and extend your knee first once you find your grounding maybe opening your right arm to the right Exhale slowly, bend your knees, release, let's change the side. Shifting your weight to your right foot. Extend, open the chest and hold.
<laughs> and again exhale to slowly release if you want to release the tension maybe kick your legs out from your ankles you may want to rotate your ankles a bit and then let us move to the round of vinyasa inhale arms up exhale to fold over inhale head up exhale to your plank lower down knees chest to chin or chaturanga inhale upper dog exhale downward dog and from here cross your legs to sit down on your mat hands on the side into dandasana in parallel to the four floor knees pressing down spine aligned and straight <coughs> from here bend your right knee catch hold of your right foot with your left palm as you inhale Lengthen your torso, exhale to twist, looking over your right shoulder, maybe stretching your arm and slowly straightening your right knee. Keep lifting your torso. Exhale, release, change the side, bend your left knee catch hold of your left foot from outside extend and hold and release again from here bending both of your knees bring your feet closer to your sit bones place your palms on the side lift your hips up Join your palms together, maybe sending your knees a little away. Lengthen your torso and from here extend your arms out. Lengthening your arms. Take your shoulder and side knee. Take your left arm behind you, maybe placing the back of your palm behind you. Now you can just simply stay here or you can take the bind. Or if you're staying here, maybe pressing that right knee away with your right palm or taking it all the way back. If you can take the pine, look up. Another option is just extending your arms out. And exhale, release. Again, extend your arms out, taking lengthening your arm, taking the bind, or you simply stay here. Choose your variation here. And exhale release again now bring your feet together over here it may be challenging to keep your heels on the ground in that case you can keep the heels over a block or a cushion lift your torso maybe placing your palms over your hips or sorry over your knees lifting the torso then join your palms to the heart center twisting to your right left elbow outside your knee and twist keeping your knees together so there would be a tendency for your left knee to go forward so keeping that in one line keep lifting your torso really detoxing today exhale back to the center inhale again lengthen your torso and twisting to the other side Exhale, come back, 
to the center place your palms behind you and extend your legs in front of you again bend your right knee inhale to raise your arms up lengthen your spine exhale twisting to your right right palm behind you if you want place a cushion behind you left elbow outside your right knee lift your torso so we want the length of the torso equal pelvis still facing to the front we are not twisting with the pelvis you can simply wrap your thigh around if bending your elbow is uncomfortable for you keeping your left leg active exhale release now from here you can try if you can placing the right of the back of your right foot over your left thigh you can keep the other knee either straight or if possible you can bend the left knee and placing it outside your left hip and now over here we will be taking a bind so right arm around your back and catching hold of your right toe if possible and inhale lengthen the left side and exhale twist so placing your left palm out over your right thigh pressing it slightly in looking over your right shoulder you can keep do it with straight knee as well like i said exhale release and we're going to change the side so you can slide your left leg forward first straighten both of your knees first we will practice marichyasana so bending your left knee inhale arms up exhale twist to your left pressing that back palm down so that you can take that lengthening squeezing your abdomen out And we are consistently focusing on the pelvis and the groin area and what kind of lifting that we are able to take in the twist. Maybe pulling your navel in if you can, squeezing your hips together, activating your upper back muscles. So I usually keep my other legs toes stretched out so that my awareness is intact and I can feel that my leg is consistently active. And exhale to release let us move to another asana so placing the back of your foot over your groin or your thighs wherever it is possible choose if you want to do it with straight knee or bend your knee inhale take your arm around catching hold of your foot if it is reaches somewhere here is also fine if it doesn't reach or you can use the belt inhale extend the torso and twist exhale to release again place your palms behind you extend your left leg out straightening your right knee and bend both of your knees here hug your under thigh inhale lift your torso lift your feet off the floor five breath here in the center and then we'll be taking the twist in the boat pose one two three four five join your palms twisting to your right if lifting the feet continuously off is uh, challenging you can simply place your toes on the side and twist one two three four five
exhale back to the center and again moving on to the other side one two three four five exhale again release cross your legs we'll be moving to the round vinyasa place your palms in front of you moving into the plank lower down knees chest to chin chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward dog lift your right leg up from here and you can bend your right knee and opening your chest to the right and opening your right knee as well to the right a slight twist here back to the center change the side lifting your left leg up bend your knee open to your left exhale back to the center and we are going to lie down from on our belly from here moving to the sphinx pose first place your palms forearms on the mat inhale lift your torso and exhale to bring your head back down place your palms right next to your chest and as we lift up we lift up for the cobra but we lift on the side we look on the side so as as you exhale lift up look over your right shoulder come back down inhale lift up look over your left shoulder come back down so we need to repeat it four times one side each one time each side inhale exhale down inhale exhale down one more time inhale exhale down inhale exhale down and relax And from here you can interlace your fingers behind you resting your chin on the mat inhale to lift your torso lift your feet off the floor and exhale release again place your palms right next to your chest coming into your plank lower down to chaturanga inhale up for dog exhale downward dog and lie down on your back place your palms stretched out in the t-shape and extend your bring your right knee closer to your chest hook your right toe and as you exhale straightening your right leg up towards the ceiling and then you can place your left palm over your left thigh maybe and hold here for five breaths first one two three four five inhale lift your chest up taking your nose to your knees and exhale to release change the side one two three four five inhale exhale release bend your knees hands on the side exhale to lift your hips up shifting your weight to your shoulders as you lift up Maybe interlace your fingers. Keep 
keep pressing your feet down your upper arms down shoulders down maybe bring your shoulder blades together one by one and as you exhale bring your hips back down moving into your shoulder stand from here so you can bend your knees bring them closer to your chest and you can either stay in Vipreet Karni Asana, just extending your legs up to the ceiling or moving into the full variation of your shoulder stand. 10 breath here. Aligning your hips with your knees, ankles. Engage your core softly, engaging your thighs, squeezing your hips together. And exhale to move into Halasana. Now we are going to walk our feet a little bit to the right, just one or two steps and hold. Then back to your left a little bit, hold and back to your right a little bit, and back to your left, come back to the center and roll yourself back onto the floor, extend your arms, you are going to move to the final twist. Keeping your knees maybe together, bring your knees closer to the chest and exhale to drop onto the side if you want, support your knees with a cushion. Maybe dropping your head to the other side. You can also place your right palm over your thighs. to drop on to the other side relax Come back to the center for Ashavasana. Take the comfortable position for yourself. Maybe extending your legs out or keeping your knees bent or supporting your knees with a cushion and relax. Relax your whole body. Connect with the breath. Watching your breath. Relaxing. Each breath that you take, you can find yourself relaxing deeper. Relax your feet, your legs. Relax your hips, your groin, your torso, your rib cage your lower back, upper back. You 
your chest, shoulders. Relax your arms, your palms. Relax your neck, your face, your spine, the crown of the head. Relaxing to this moment, merging into this moment. And we are allowing everything that is happening, however it feels, And you can continue in this relaxation for as long as you want. If you want to come out, you start to move your toes and fingers. Maybe your head from one side to the other. And maybe stretching your whole body. Stretch your arms, stretch your arms up. Exhale to bend your knees, roll over to your right. Take your time to come up into seating asana so let us take a moment to absorb the practice to absorb all the benefits of the practice let us seal a practice let us seal all the benefits with one ohm let us join the palms to the heart center take a deep breath in exhale open your eyes thank you very much for joining me in i hope to see you soon again and some other practice until then bye bye